Smack in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea lies Malta, a dazzling island full of hidden charm, ancient temples, thrilling scuba diving and limestone cliffs. Expats lucky enough to call Malta home often pride the country for its high quality of life, excellent education opportunities and thriving economic market. For non-European nationals who've always dreamt of living in a safe and stable country, now is your chance. Hey there, global citizens. My name is Pedro and I'm with Global Citizen Solutions, a boutique investment migration firm helping expats to find their ideal citizenship by investment program outside their birth country. The Malta Permanent Residency Program, hereby referred to as MPRP, is a residency by investment program that allows qualifying and vetted applicants to obtain Maltese residency, provided that an investment is made in the nation. Along with gaining the right to settle and permanently live in Malta, the MPRP enables investors to take advantage of Malta's dynamic real estate market as well as pass residency onto family members. So just how does the program work? Stick around to find out because you've guessed it. We'll be unpacking the MPRP for you from program benefits to costs involved and investment requirements. There are lots of reasons why the MPRP is a robust program, but it all goes back to what you're looking to get out of the whole ordeal. One thing is for sure, whether you're flying solo or have a family to look after, the MPRP is ideal for folks looking for a better quality of life and to protect their personal and financial future. The key benefits include the right to permanently live in Malta, visa-free travel access across the Schengen region, a total of 90 out of 180 days in a given calendar year, up to four generations can be included in a single application, the opportunity to tap into Malta's healthy property market, build your future in a safe and stable country, live in a country renowned for being an investment hub, and access free education and healthcare provided that you pay social security to reap the rewards, and a relatively smooth going application timeline of around one year with efficient processing times. This may be all very well, but do you even qualify for the MPRP? That's a valid question, isn't it? Here's what you need to know about the MPRP requirements. It's a given that you must be a third country national, non-EEA and non-Swiss. Also, you can't hail from a sanctioned country. Other requirements include having enough money to live comfortably in Malta, including own capital assets of no less than 500,000 euros. From these capital assets, a minimum of 150,000 euros must be in financial assets. To top it off, you need to hold a clean criminal record, pass a strict four-tier due diligence check, and can't be deemed a security threat under any circumstances. Good on that front? Fantastic. Let's dive into the investment requirements. You must either buy a property or rent it out, make a non-refundable government contribution, and finally, donate to a registered charity. So three investment boxes must be ticked here, with some wriggle room in what property route you pick. Let's look at the investment requirement in more detail. To make a qualifying property investment, you can either rent a property with a minimum annual rent of 10,000 euros in the south of Malta or Gozo, or rent a property with a yearly rent amounting to 12,000 euros if the property is located anywhere else in Malta. The second option would be to buy a property valued at at least 300,000 euros if located in the south of Malta, Gozo, or 350 if located in the rest of Malta. An important thing to flag here is that the property's title of purchase or lease must be held for at least five years. Once you've picked your property investment route to Maltese residency, the next step is to make a non-refundable government contribution. It'll either cost you 28,000 euros if you're buying a property or 58,000 euros if leasing or renting a property. An additional contribution of 7,500 is required for each extra adult family member. The final step is to donate at least 2,000 euros to a local philanthropic, cultural, scientific, artistic, sport or animal welfare NGO registered with the Commissioner of Voluntary Organizations. Regarding the total investment cost, 
You're looking at either forking out 120,000 euros over five years if opting for the property rental route, or 380,000 euros if opting for the property purchase route. In both instances, you save money if investing in the South Malta, Gozo. But surprise, there are extra application fees to consider and boxes to tick. In a nutshell, you must lodge your application with a licensed agent, you must pay admin fees starting from 40,000 euros for the principal applicant and spouse or children if added at the time of the application, and 7,500 extra for each additional adult dependent. You must also have a valid travel document, get a sickness insurance policy, take out travel insurance when traveling across the Schengen area, and submit proof of your investment within eight months of getting the pre-approved green light. And there you have it. Malta's residency by investment program is highly beneficial for individuals looking to live in Malta and effectively settle down there. However, if citizenship is your primary aim, unfortunately, this program isn't it. Citizenship can take 10 to 15 years to obtain if you're applying via the MPRP route. In this case, consider Malta's granting of citizenship for exceptional services regulations program. The program allows non-EU nationals to obtain citizenship by naturalization. To qualify, you must pass strict due diligence processes, contribute to the country's economic development, and invest a minimum of 690,000 euros. We realize we've covered a lot of ground here and that this might all be a tad overwhelming for you. We believe that everyone has the right to thrive, no matter where home is. And our mission is to match investors to their ideal investment, golden visa program, or tax benefit. You can learn more at globalcitizensolutions.com. For more info, check out our Malta residency guide at the link in the description. And last but not least, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you on our next video.